no, not this rule, but the rules in general. Wash your hands, red means stop, green means go, do your homework before playing video games. We have rules all around us, right? In every part of our lives, we have a rule. But what makes a good rule? Go ahead and talk about it. What makes a good rule? And tell me an example of a good rule. What does that sound like to you? Is a good rule like, don't hit your brother or sister? That's a good rule we have in our house. What about you? What are some rules you have in your house? And if you had to make up a good rule right now, what would it be? Good rules have a purpose, right? They're not just for bossing people around, but for keeping them safe and learning good habits. Our Bible story today is all about the rules God gave his people. Let's listen and watch together. The Israelites set out on a long desert journey back to their homeland. God guided them with a pillar of fire at night and a cloud by day. As the Israelites set up camp at the base of Mount Sinai, a dark cloud covered the mountaintop. Thunder boomed and lightning filled the sky. Terrified, the people backed away from the mountain. But Moses climbed up into the dark cloud. The ground began to shake and God spoke to Moses from a blazing fire on the mountaintop. Here is how my people should live. Don't worship anything but me. Don't misuse or disrespect my name. Set aside a day each week to rest and worship me. Honor your parents. Don't murder, steal, or lie. Live purely and faithfully. Don't lust after someone else's spouse or their possessions. When Moses told the people these commands, they said, we'll do everything God said. On the mountaintop, God gave him stone tablets detailing the laws and commands inscribed by God's own finger. When Moses returned to their camp, he found the Israelites in a wild party, worshiping a golden idol in man. People said, we want to follow a God that we can see. Burning with anger, Moses threw the tablets, breaking them into pieces. Then he ground their idol into powder, mixed it with water, and made them drink it. Moses begged God to forgive his people. God said to him, I'm full of compassion and love and slow to get angry. If my people obey my commands, then I'll show my power through them. After giving Moses a new set of tablets, God said, build a special place for me to live among the people I love. So Moses gathered the very best craftsmen and built a sacred tent called a tabernacle in the center of their camp. When God was present inside the tent, a cloud appeared above it during the day and a pillar of fire at night. When the cloud moved, the people followed and continued their long journey back to their homeland. Hi, I'm so glad to see you today. We had so many stories that we heard about, but I wanted to talk just a little more about when Moses received the Ten Commandments. You see, when Moses went and got the people out of Egypt and he brought them out to the desert, what do you suppose happened? That's right. They couldn't get along. They were fussing and they were fighting and they, they couldn't decide, you know, about who should get to do this and who should get to do that and who got the most food and all of that. And, well, God said, Moses, come up to the top of this mountain. And, and when the people looked up at the top of the mountain, there was thunder and there was lightning and there was a big cloud. And Moses went up there and he stayed for a while. And when he came down, he had these two big stones. And on those stones, 
stones for 10 rules that God had come up with to help the people get along with each other. Now the first four rules were how the people would relate to God, how they would honor God, how they would obey God. And then the others were how they would get along with others. So I thought we would look at those for just a few minutes and think about them. The first one tells us that we should give God the first place in our hearts and in our lives. And the second one says we should not worship anything else, anybody or anything besides God. And we should remember, number three, is to remember that God's name is special. And we should use God's name with respect. And the fourth one says we should save one day each week to rest and to spend time with God. And we do that on Sunday. And then when we get to the other rules, they tell us, first of all, that we should respect and obey our moms and our dads. Do you do that? Think about it. We should not harm anyone. Moms and dads should keep their promises to each other. They should act with love and keep their promises. We should not steal. We should treat other people's things with respect. We should tell the truth. That's really hard sometimes. And we should be happy with who we are and what we have. God gave these rules to his people so they could live good lives. And he gave them to us so we could live good lives and be closer to him. Those rules can help us to live good lives also. And the last thing I want us to do is to remember our Bible verse for today. And we're going to remember the part that says we will do everything that the Lord has told us. And so in order to do that, we will say, we will do everything that the Lord has told us. So you try that with me? We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Have a great week.